killing people, hunting things, the family business. Hey guys, continuing on with my marathon review of every single Supernatural episode. Now we're on episode two of the first season, the Wendigo episode. Now there's a lot of things that changed about this episode in comparison to the pilot. For one, the production finally moved up to BC. They had a choice of LA or BC, and in the end BC won, and we all know how well that worked out. This episode also focused more on the book, and we actually started to see the uses of the father's journal. The brothers go out into the woods with this girl, or a younger boy, and a hunter looking for her brother who was kidnapped or somewhat attacked by a Wendigo creature when he was camping out with his buddies. Now this was really the first time the show was scary and it actually really pushed a rating system because at one point the guy who's been kidnapped by the Wendigo, he watches his buddy get torn apart by the Wendigo. We don't see it. But we hear it, and the noises were disgusting and awesome. So, the Wendigo episode is one that's kind of caught up in controversy. Supposedly, the Wendigo that's in this film is completely wrong from the actual lore, the actual Wendigo creature. Other people also said that Eric Kripke did not like this episode. He ha It was one of his most hated episodes, which is odd because I think it's one of the best episodes because it really showcased the brothers' utility of themselves. Their willing to work on the spot to do whatever it takes to take down the creature as well as it had that classic line this line has become so classic that even crowley used it to mock the brothers at one point even though he had absolutely no idea what he had ever heard that before so the wendigo episode i feel is a classic episode of supernatural if you are going to name some of the most memorable episodes of supernatural i think one of them will be the wendigo episode just because it set the pace it set the pace for the horror it set the pace for how they would fight creatures and it also set the pace that there wasn't just going to be ghosts it was going to be lore monsters and anything else that was on the table so I like the Wendigo episode for several reasons. Is there some kind of stereotypical action of it? Yes, the hunter guy is a douchebag. The guys who are playing on their Nintendo DS's, which is funny to see. The guy is using a Blackberry, which was slightly not shown at the same time. But the other thing that's kind of interesting is I meant to say this in the last episode review, is that if you watch it, Sam sounds like Sam does now pretty much. But if you watch Dean, Dean doesn't have that depth, that deepness in his voice that he seems to have now. I don't know if he's purposely put that in. I think he has. I think it has become a part of his enactment of Dean. But Dean had a much more somber, more regular voice when he started out. And it's kind of funny that that's what Jensen Ackles does now. It's really interesting to see these guys 13 years younger and see how they started out. And they're still on the hunt for their father. And I like the Wendigo episode. I don't know why that other people hate it so much. I don't see a reason as to. It established a great horror setting. How they took out the creature was pretty awesome. The humor in it was very subtle but very funny. And there was actually a moment where Sam drove the, the Impala. Also, it has Fly By Night by Rush, which is actually an, a song that I use to open up my radio show almost all the time. Speaking of which, I even did a marathon once on my radio show Supernatural for five Thursdays of an August back in 2014, I think, or 2013. I did the first five seasons of Supernatural. So, anyways, I like the Wendigo episode, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 7. And I honestly really like it. As to whether I place it above the opening episode, I'll say yes, because it upped the lore, it upped the candor of the characters. It wasn't as much exposition. There was a lot more subtlety with the episode. And also it was a hell of a lot scarier. So anyway, guys, that's my review for the Wendigo episode. I'll catch you with the next one.